Welcome back to Virginia this morning, live here on CBS 6. September is National Family Meals Month. And if you're looking to add a pop of flavor to your favorite dish, watch this Food Network personality share some great ideas with Jessica. Fall is right around the corner, and so for many of us, that means comfort foods are on the menu. Right now is a great time to make sure that your fall favorites are leveled up for flavor and nutrition. Joining us with more on how you can add a creative twist and burst of color to your autumn meals is James Beard, award winner and best-selling author, Ellie Krieger. It's great to see you this morning. She's joining us by satellite. Ellie, nice to have you. It is great to be here with you, Jessica. Yeah, I have some really great tricks for taking like your basic favorites and leveling them up really easily um, with fresh punches of flavor, but super simple. Um, and doing that in a way that's very seasonal because we are entering fall, right? Um, but the idea is to really, maybe we're getting a little bit bored from all this cooking we're doing and making our basics. And I'm gonna show you how to make your basics really interesting and fabulous. Um, and one of the ways I really like to do that is by incorporating seasonal produce. Um, so it's, it's a really a no-brainer to do that. And one of my favorite fall and winter fruits is grapes from California. They are in season really now through um, January. And 65% of the grapes from California are actually harvested after September 1st. So that's a little tidbit for you. But I love to use them to level up my dishes. So here I have a beautiful fall salad, right? Um, it's kale. You can use any green. I love my kale salad. What can I say? Um, I also put um, some roasted squash on there. So even just that one thing of combining and by adding a little bit of roasted element onto the fresh salad gives it all of a sudden a very interesting um, flavor. So if you're roasting some for dinner, roast some extra, put them on your salad. Then adding the fresh grapes, I just have them here and kind of pop them on. It's really a no-brainer. It's something super easy to do, but it amps it up, immediately leveling it up with flavor, with that beautiful punch of sweet juiciness, but also with nutrition because whatever color grape you use, they have that wonderful antioxidants called polyphenols um, and other antioxidants as well. But a lot of us hear a lot about those polyphenols. Um, then I got the avocado toast, which is basically a new classic at this point, right? Everyone loves it. Um, adding some grapes to that. There I have green and red, a little bit of feta cheese I love to put on there. That adds protein and kind of that nice brininess and some fresh herbs. So here I have feta, but really, I mean, so here I have uh, some dill, but you could really use any fresh herb. And it really takes an avocado toast from something like good but boring, right? To something so much more interesting. I got another really one to show does. you here. Okay. This gorgeous sheet pan dinner, okay? It's chicken and uh, cauliflower. So most of us are doing nice chicken and vegetable sheet pan. Put some grapes right on the sheet pan and let them roast for about 20 minutes and they become gloriously concentrated in flavor. They brown a little bit and they really take your dish from good to great. So that's what I'm talking about, leveling up using grapes from California. Um, you really can't go wrong. And I'm wondering if I just heard you correctly that you can take your dishes from good to grape <laughs> because all of those seem really, really <laughs> oh, on target. Oh, <laughs> you're good. I, I did not say that, but I really should be saying that. <laughs> you can, all you can take your dishes from good to grape. Yeah, all of those really are great inspiration. And I like too, that it takes a really accessible ingredient, grapes, which are fresh and plentiful and delicious this time of year and incorporates them in so many different ways. And I think helps maybe introduce the little ones too, to start getting into some different ways of enjoying food, right? Some experimentation. Totally, and it's one of those things you can have the little ones help you with. So yeah, maybe when they get a little older, you can even have them start cutting with a safe knife. But even if you chop up a bunch of different grapes, you can say, oh, which color do you want? Do you want to put them on the salad? You can have them kind of make their own avocado toast. So yeah, absolutely, it's a great way to get kids in the kitchen, which is a huge uh, plus no matter what. 
Um, and I have so many ideas. There's a million ideas. Well, maybe not a million, but lots of ideas and tips at grapesfromcalifornia.com. So um, you can get lots of recipes there too. Awesome. Well, Ellie, it has been grape talking with you and it's nice to see you this fall. Thank you for these ideas. Thanks, Jessica. Take care. Appreciate it. Love it. And all of those look so fantastic. I'm so excited about that avocado toast. I'm ready for it to be second breakfast right now. For more information, we'll post a link on our website, wtvr.com slash VTM, so you can find more of those recipes from Ellie. Wow. You know what? She squeezed a lot into that interview. She, <clears throat> all right. did. she did. All right. Now, before we even get started on this, I got a question for you. But before we even get to the okay. question, uh, by the way, in the 20th century, I think one of the best inventions ever was seedless grapes and seedless watermelon. I don't know how they did that, but <laughs> thank you for doing that so we can have it all good. All right, so do you have a favorite thing you like to do with uh, grapes since it's grape season? Yes, uh, drink them, hello. Drink them. But, <laughs> have you ever but I do, a I love grapes. And did the squishing thing? Have you ever done that? No, got the no, I've not done it, but it is on my bucket list. I cannot wait. And I always think of the I Love Lucy clip of yeah. her trying to do it and falling over. It just seems like right. the most fun thing. It takes a lot more than you think because you can't just do I it bet. for a few seconds. You have to stand in there and it's like running in place for like five minutes. It's like, <laughs> I'm tired. Can I get out? All right. I'm sorry. I interrupted you. You were going to tell us something. But about grapes. I will say I had never thought of, you know, baking them in dishes and all that kind of stuff. Grapes are pretty versatile. So, yeah, that's good. Now, have you ever had a cotton candy grape? Mm. No. Is that a real it, thing? It's yes. It's so sweet. <laughs> It is so incredibly sweet. I know you can get them at Wegmans. I've never seen them anywhere else, but they're so, so sweet. It's it's like having a piece of candy, but it's a grape. We used to make candy, and I haven't done this since I was a kid, but we used to take uh, grapes, uh, wash them and leave them wet, and put them on a cookie sheet and sprinkle sugar on them and put them in the freezer. And then when you're hot outside and you come in and you pop a frozen sugared grape into your mouth. <laughs> okay, Mom wait a minute. You said put them on a sheet with yeah. sugar with and nothing. what else and just sprinkle some oh. sugar on them and then freeze them because grape is wow. mostly water right so then when it's frozen you put it in your mouth and you've got this sweet frozen candy in your mouth basically and uh, all right yeah, i'm was, gonna try uh, it yeah i haven't done that since i was it. a kid but uh, i remember that very i just thought of that it's like we used to make candy out of grapes that yeah. well i would think that's a healthy snack I think <laughs> that may be what's wrong with Depending me now. Actually. Use. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we can all agree that we love grapes. So yeah. I'm going to add some more to my dishes and see if I can't make them even more exciting. I didn't even know it was grape season. So that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. You know what else it is? Time for a quick break. We'll see you on the other side. With more Virginia This Morning Live.